Good morning guys, today is the big day. I'm gonna be dynaming my Supra today at Rev Performance. Right now, just kinda of going over all the hose clamps, making sure everything's tight. I actually found one that was really loose. It was this one up here. Uh, so I, I had to, did have a boost leak from there. I fixed that and sorted it out. I have an extra set of spark plugs on the window here. When you're dyno tuning a car, you tend to run it a bit rich to start, uh, and this can foul the plugs. So it's always good to bring a backup set of plugs to change things out and make sure you have a fresh setup when you get off the dyno. I got the wolf shirt on for good luck. It seemed to help me get the super started, so hopefully it can help me make some good power. Pretty sure I did everything. I'm gonna close the hood, drive there with no bumper, just so the intercooler is getting maximum airflow on the dyno. Let's do this. Alright guys, there you have it. Supra is finally tuned. So as you saw, it made 430 wheel and around 400 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, keep in mind, this is a Mustang dyno, so it reads about 12 to 15% lower. I've been offered to dyno my car on a Dyno Dynamics dyno. I just said dyno a lot. Uh, apparently they read more accurately, so we'll see. We'll put that Mustang 3 to the test and see if it actually puts out a more accurate number on that dyno. But with my butt dyno, this thing feels fast as fuck. I'm really happy with this. Seriously, like, opened up the car to the next level. I've, honestly, I didn't imagine it would be anything like this. I'm like so happy with it. Right now there's two boost settings, uh, low boost and high boost. Low is around 12.5 PSI, and that's around 360 wheel, and then high boost is 18 PSI, and that puts out 430 to the wheels. Ah, fuck man, I'm so speechless about it. Like, it's, it's an experience. So yeah, we're gonna go for a little drive right now, show you guys what that feels like. Well, you know, what it looks like. First, I gotta find out where we're going. So, might as well just show you guys what high boost feels like right away. Uh, it says 17, because it was a little bit cold last night, so it was spiking, but 18. <sighs> I hate these gauges for this reason, man. I can't even keep the camera straight. Yeah, this road's bumpy and trying to do this. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so we, shit. we spiked to 19 pounds there and it cut boost. So I'm going to back the boost controller off a little bit. These boost controllers are very finicky with weather. So like, 
any temperature change will make it spike or not hit boost fully so you have to kind of play with it and see what's happening but it's a good thing that it does hit boost cup because that's keeping everything safe and preventing me from knocking air fuel ratios are really good Evan did a good job yeah honestly guys I'm still getting used to the power so like this this isn't quite flat out yet I'm still kind of like learning how to <laughs> how to handle this like, Seriously guys, it's pretty fucking fast. I'm very happy with it. Ah. The boost sounds insane now. Like, that turbo has opened up so well, man. I'm happy with where school is too. Like, school is pretty quick. All right, so me and Devin just finished the set of canards for this Veloster here. So dual canard setup. Uh, contact Infamous Design if you want something like this or similar. Uh, we do a lot of different vehicles, so. My buddy Nick that I used to work with came by. I actually went to Edmonton to pick up that Supra with him. 6BRZ. Oh, his uh, is a second gen. So I'm pretty sure this is a 96 Mark IV. So I got uh, these little like rear markers. Actually, this might be, it's in the crossover period because I think this is still a, a non-VVTI engine. Similar, yeah. 255 in the front. Nice. 285 rear, 265 front. Alright guys, so before Vancouver, I need to swap my front tires. As you can see, they're Totally bald on the outside. I've already flipped them. I'm gonna try to get an alignment before, but if I can't, it's not really a huge deal. It's not too out, but it's definitely enough to wear tires over time. I'm gonna be flipping the front and rear wheels when I get these new tires. So as you can see here, this side pokes in a little bit, and in the rear, it pokes out a bit. Because I'm running a spacer in the rear, so my wheels are staggered offsets, I'm gonna flip the front and the rear and run the spacer in the rear. It should bring the rear in a little bit and bring the front out more. So my stance is gonna be a little bit more even and it should look a lot better. Cause uh, I can't really hold and boost at the yeah. same time. Last year was easy, man. <laughs> I could like hold the camera and do a pull and then this year I want like both hands on it. It's too much fun, dude. I gotta be really careful with this. Yeah. Seriously, this thing could get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> For sure, dude. That's why I got that sticker there, man. To, to warn me. <laughs> Team trouble. God damn it! Hands down the fastest car I've been in. Really? Oh, 100%. Fuck yeah, man. Dude, that's insane. I think this is the fastest car. I've gone for a rip in my dad's friend's old Ferrari, and this just like. <laughs> oh. It's ridiculous. That smile on the face is worth it, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, every pull it, like, I don't expect it, dude. <laughs> All the countless hours of work. It makes my heart shake still. Dude, it, I've never been thrown back in the seat so hard. It's insane. It's not even laggy. Like, that's just insane. Like, I, holy fuck. Here I was thinking my Civic was quick. This is just, oh, this just put the bar so high. I'm never gonna be able to drive again. Uh, seriously, huge, huge thank you to Super Williams for hooking me up with this ECU. Seriously, man, like you saved me a ton of money and a ton of trouble, so I really appreciate it. Thank you to Al for wrapping the bumper. I'm really happy with that. Be sure to check out Eminence Vinyl. Finally, a big thanks to Evan at Red Performance. I'm gonna be sending him the dyno videos and he'll post them on his YouTube channel, so 
be sure to check that out. I'll link it in the description. Uh, and then one more thing, guys. We are having a flash sale that's going on right now. It lasts 24 hours. It started last night at midnight. So be sure to hop onto the localsmovement.com, uh, support your boys, and rep the brand. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.